Hi, I'm Rakia. Welcome or welcome back to my reaction channel. So, as you can tell by the title, of course, we are going to be reacting to The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I loved this movie growing up. Esmeralda, a freaking babe. I had the biggest girl crush on her growing up. We are, of course, going to be adding her to the list a female animated leads that have my heart. Before we begin, you know the drill. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, and subscribe because I'm trying to hit 10,000. So if we can hit that soon, that'd be great. Anywho, let's get right into this reaction. I haven't seen this movie in years. I know the overall gist of it, but I don't know exactly what happens. I do know that some effed up things happen in the beginning, so I'm ready to get mad. Ooh, we're up in the skies. Remember the music slapping in this too. I'm ready. Oh, I forgot there is a Joker narrator. A tale of a man and a monster. The monster. He is no monster. I thought they were talking about Quasimodo, but now I clearly can tell they were talking about Frollo being the monster. Thank goodness, because Quasimodo deserves the best, deserves the world. He's an angel. Love him. Judge Claude Frollo. Look at him just strut on in on his big ass horse that looks just as evil as him. Bring these gypsy vermin to the palace of justice. Gypsy vermits? I think you're the only vermin here, bud. Of course, honey, you better run. She a runner, she a track star. In snow too? That's impressive. Sanctuary, please give us sanctuary. Come on, someone open your doors and let her in. Like I get it, they're just trying to protect themselves, but still. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. A monster. You're the only monster here, sir. A well? A well. Oh! That was a pretty sick transition. Come on now. Was that not cool? Disney, you did that. I'm impressed. Be the innocent blood you have spilled on the steps of Notre Dame. Do you think he cares? He was about to drop a baby down the well. He doesn't care that he spilled blood. My conscience is clear. Your conscience is clear. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Mm -mm. Special place in hell for people like him. Oh, those are creepy. <laughs> those are creepy. Stop staring at me like that. Uh -uh. And for one time in his life. Yeah, look at them. Staring at you like, yeah, we see what you did. Oh. Must I do? Care for the child and raise it as your own. Care for the child, no. Give the child to someone who will actually love and take care of the child. Not a dude who was just about to drop the child down a well. You're telling him to raise it? Mm -mm. A name that means half-formed, Quasimodo. Honestly though, Quasimodo is such a cute name. I would honestly name my kid Quasimodo. <laughs> Yes, come in vocals, holy. Oh yeah, and he has sidekicks that are the gargoyles. Ah. But watching the Festival of Fools has always been the highlight of the year for Quasimodo. What good is watching a party if you never get to go here? Exactly, he has a point. He should be down there having a blast, living it up. It would be a veritable potpourri of educational experience. Yes, educational experience to go to the festival. You can learn about Esmeralda. Oh. Thanks for the encouragement, but you're all forgetting one big thing. What is that big thing? My master, Frollo. Your master? What the frick is this? One of the Fifty Shades of Grey? One of the slavery, actually? <laughs> Never know you were gone. And if I got caught, better to beg forgiveness than ask permission. He has a point. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason though, I only remembered there being two gargoyles in this movie, not three, but I ain't complaining. I'll march through the doors and- Good morning, Quasimodo. Ew. Look, now you just killed the whole vibe. No. Lunch. Oh, at least we know he's feeding Quasimodo. At least he's doing the bare frickin' minimum, even though he's feeding him with wooden utensils and he gets glass. I don't know why I called it utensils when it's clearly a cup and a plate. That's dishes, not utensils. And also, I don't think Frollo's cup and plate is 
made out of glass. I don't know what material it's made out of. Maybe like a silver, metal, I don't know. But for sure it does not look like glass. Blasphemy, see? C- c- contrition, D. Damnation, E. Eternal damnation, good. I guess he's at least teaching him some, giving him some form of education, even though it's negative and hateful. The festival. It's just that you go every year. I am a public official. I must go. Like, who makes this evil man a public figure? When your heartless mother abandoned you as a child, anyone else would have drowned you. Abandoned? No, no, no. Pause, 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 pause. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm, you know what? I'm trying to stay positive, but... This bitch is getting on my nerves. Oh, my dear Quasimodo. Oh, my dear Quasimodo, shut up. Oh, I can't stand him. The world is cruel. You're cruel. But the world is wicked. You're wicked. It's I alone whom you can trust in this whole city. Trust you. But I am your only friend. Only friend? Not this emotional abuse, I can't. You are deformed. I am deformed. You are good to me, master. Oh, uh, he has poisoned your brain into thinking he's good to you, but he is the absolute scum of the earth, and he's treating you like garbage. Taste the morning there. Not that flare transition, that was cool. Ooh, yes, you better sing and hold that note. Ooh. Yes. That was impressive. That was a nice long note. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm looking for the Palace of Justice. Would you... Hmm, I guess not. I forgot this character. Yeah, I don't remember who he is or what he does in this movie, so this should be interesting. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, her. You play that trombone. Is that a trombone? I don't know how you guys can watch my reactions because I be saying the stupidest shit. It's a tambourine, Rakia. Holy. Um, wow. <laughs> All right, Gypsy, where'd you get the money? She worked hard for it. She was busy shaking her booty, pounding on that tambourine, tamboni, tambourine. I don't know what it's called. It's a tambourine. Not that hard. It's gonna be as bad. Yes. Ah! That's a clever disguise. I expect nothing but the best from a war hero of your caliber. Oh, he's a war hero, okay. Don't tell me he's gonna unalive Quasimodo. How about you just shut up and watch the movie, Rakia? Yeah, how about we do that? Look, Captain, gypsies. The gypsies live outside the normal order. Hey, she's so gorgeous, ah. Uh. And they must be stopped. Stopped? You must be stopped, sir, you're a criminal. What are we going to do about it, sir? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Let them be. Oh, hell no. I don't think that's a good enough costume, sir. We should have maybe disguised ourselves a bit better instead of just having a little cape that can easily fall off. In today, the Demolinos get released. Oh. In today we <laughs> I think that Joker is purposely trying to expose you. Whoa! Oh, are you all right? That's a beautiful robe. I want something like that now. By the way, great mask. If someone said to my face, nice mask, and meant it genuinely, like not in a joking way, I'd cry. That would be my 13th reason. This festival seems so fun. I haven't been to a festival in a long time, like years now because of Miss Corona. <gasps> Disgusting display. Disgusting display. I'm gonna hurt it. Mm. <laughs> Got it. Yes, yes, ma'am. Look at her. Red looks so good on Esmeralda. Oh, honestly, any color looks good on her. I just love her. I want to be her. I want to be with her. Where did your cape go? It's his face. He's hideous. Hideous? You guys are hideous. Mm hmm. On the outside and inside. This is very bittersweet because he's finally, I guess, being accepted in society like he wants to be, but for the wrong reasons. Oh, like I guess I'm happy for him because he's happy. 
Quasi modo, quasi, quasi, quasi modo, modo. Hey, excuse me. I'm gonna throw my freaking slipper at all of you guys. No, no, it's not. The assault is beginning right now. This is assault. This is so upsetting to watch. Look at him turn his face away like the coward he is. A lesson needs to be learned here. A lesson? What's the lesson? That you're an asshole? You mistreat this poor boy the same way you mistreat my people. You speak of justice, yet you are cruel to those most in need of your help. Yes, call him out. The only fool I see is you. Yes, I love her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's ten of you and one of me. What's a poor girl to do? You can take them on, honey. Don't worry. Look at her outsmarting all of y'all. Mm hmm. This is an Esmeralda Stan account. If you don't love her as much as I do, you can leave. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> He's trapped again. <laughs> I love when movies do that. Always funny. Always gets me. Ooh. She said, I'm going to hit three birds with one stone hat. Mm hmm. Yes! Yes! I'm getting too- I'm getting too into this. I'm sorry. No, now he's gonna let his anger out on Quasimodo, though. I'm sorry, Master. Sorry for what? Never disobey you again. So sad seeing him get manipulated into thinking he's in the wrong for just wanting to experience a regular event. Are we in a church? Is this what it is? Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's like, you ain't gonna sneak up on me. You sneaky son of a- uh, 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 watch it. You're in a church. Oh, so we are in a church. Okay, I was right. You fight almost as well as a man. Funny. I was going to say the same thing about you. And I- Oh! I'm Phoebus. It means... Sun God. She doesn't give an F. <laughs> what do you want? I'd settle for your name. Don't flirt with my girl. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't trust you. Minister Frollo learned years ago to respect the sanctity of the church. He doesn't respect the church. <gasps> Excuse me, get off of her. Look, he's a little pervert. <sighs> what do they have against people who are different anyway? My thoughts exactly, like what the heck? I don't know if you can hear me. She's singing, she's singing. This is freaking beautiful. Shut up. All the colors? What, if, what is it called? Stained glass? Whenever I was forced to go to church when I was younger, I would always just stare at the art on the windows because they were always so beautiful and it just helped to make the time pass. Ah, I was only forced to go to church because I went to a Catholic school. You, bell ringer, what are you doing down here? Oh. Why can't he be down there? I hate everyone in this town other than Esmeralda, Quasimodo, and the goat. Everyone else can go rot. Like you tell me he can't even be in the church? It's a church. I thought thy shall love thy neighbor. <gasps> that is freaking gorgeous. I love me a good sunset. Mm -mm. Do you think I'm evil? No, 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 you, you are kind and good and, and, and a gypsy. And maybe Frollo's wrong about the both of us. He is. He's absolutely wrong. Frollo's an idiot. You've done this before? No. You haven't done this before? R.I.P. then. Okay, Spider-Man. You you scale them walls. After that, I clean the cloisters, and, and then I ring the vespers, and whatever's good for you. <laughs> oh. But gosh, I wish Quasimodo and Esmeralda ended up, like, together, like a cute little couple. I didn't mean to trap her here, but it was the only way I could save her life. Will you tell her that? He ain't telling her. F you. Get out of here. Tell Esmeralda. She's very lucky. Why? To have a friend like you. A friend? How do you know they're just friends? They could be together in a relationship. Why are you assuming? The nerve of him. Snooping around here trying to steal your girl. My girl? Yep, your girl. Mm-hmm.
Not you over here lusting over her, and then you're trying to enslave her. He stole her scarf? You little weirdo. Okay, technically he didn't steal it. However, it is still kind of weird that he kept it. What are, you, what are you doing with her scarf then at night, huh? Hmm, I think you're doing some unholy things to that scarf. Anywho. It's not my fault. I'm not to blame. You're not to blame? Oh my goodness. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Even though I hate Frollo, the song slaps. Like it, it, it slaps on a whole nother level. Just his voice with the chorus vocals in the background and just like, it's a really good song. One of my favorites throughout this whole movie, but I still hate him. Burn it. Burn it? I was not trained to murder the innocent. But you were trained to follow orders. No. This is not an order, this is a crime. Okay, good. Don't you, don't you dare. I'm okay. Literally gonna get violent. No, and you hear the kids screaming. Oh my goodness. If I know Esmeralda, she's three steps ahead of Frollo and well out of harm's way. Yeah, because my girl's smart. She knows how to escape and hide. Take it from us, Quasi. You've got nothing to worry about. Oh, are we going to break into a song right now? I hear the music. Lovely, lovely guys. Please, can you hide him? No, no, thank you. Let him croak. Really, bitch. Sit. <gasps> no, no, no. At least have some respect to not do it in front of my boy Quasi. And you, you guys are just making out. Look at his heart breaking right in front of us. Look at him ripping his heart. No. I told you, you should just let him die. Yeah, this is like the absolute worst spot to hide. Oh, Master, I, 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 I didn't think you'd be coming. I'm never too busy to share a meal with you, dear boy. Well, shut up. He tries to act nice just to keep him wrapped around his finger. You helped her escape, but I know all Paris is burning because of you. No, because of you, Frollo. He didn't tell you to burn down the city. You burned it down yourself. You chose to because you're obsessed with her. Stop blaming Quasimodo. Wow, I'm really getting this worked up over a fictional character. I'm sorry, because it doesn't stop here. I get more and more worked up and I start screaming at the camera and I apologize. I know where her hideout is. And tomorrow at dawn, I attack with a thousand men. A thousand men need to take down one woman? That says a lot. Phoebus. Don't scare us like that. I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for her. Yeah, you let him know. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for my girl, Esmeralda. Ooh, this is creepy. Mm-mm. All them bones, all them skeletons, and then that dirty water. Get back to the bell tower before I get it. Oh, not them moving. Oh, they're people dressed up as... <laughs> That's a good disguise. <laughs> oh, so there's an underground city. I love this. <laughs> Here comes our girl to save us. Thank Quasimodo. Without his help, I would never have found my way here. Nor would I. <gasps> He's here. No. Why, he led me right to you, my dear. You're a liar. He is a liar. Don't listen to anything he says. Choose me or the fire. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Spit on him again. Spit on him again. You gotta break these chains. I can't. So, my little, little, little theory. Is this scene of Quasimodo chained to the bell tower supposed to represent the chains Frollo had on him his whole life and Quasimodo now breaking out of those chains supposed to represent him like breaking free from Frollo? Am I correct? Am I correct? If so, Disney? 
quite clever. That was quite clever. Yes, 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 Quasi. Let's do something. Break it free. This is given very much King Kong now. Hey! Oh, 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 uh, yes! Yes, this music is so fitting. Yes, destroy things. Yes, wreak havoc. He has declared war on Notre Dame herself. <laughs> No, we won't. <coughs> yes, straight in the face, knock them teeth out. Sorry. Don't apologize, it needed to be done. Oh, I'm, I'm free. He's finally free, is he gonna get trapped again? I'm free. Oh, oh there he goes. He just can't catch a break, can he? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, burn them up. Just like how they tried to burn down the city, let's burn them up. Oh no, he's still alive. Have you gone mad? He hasn't gone mad, he's been mad this whole time. Silence, you old fool. Why are you gonna just toss the priest like that? What in the unholy? Esmeralda, wake up. You're safe now. Does she need a true love's kiss to wake her up? Come here. I got you. Ugh. Look at him coming on in now. With a freaking dagger behind him, no. You better not do what I think you're doing. Yes, he, yes. It's my duty, horrible as it was. Quasi, look through his BS. Forever. <gasps> yes, yes, fight back now. All my life you have told me the world is a dark, cruel place, but now I see that the only thing dark and cruel about it is people like you. Yep, 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 yep. I should have known you'd risk your life to save that gypsy witch, just as your own mother died trying to save you. Here's the truth. The truth comes out. Oh, yes. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Look at him. Look at his eyes. How they're glowing red and his teeth. He's evil. He shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit. Yes. Break. Full. <laughs> he did just that. He plunged the wicked into the flames. I think that's what he said. I can't remember. Anywho. It would have been more satisfying to see Quasimodo defeat Frollo, like, you know, him unalive in Frollo, but I do know like that wouldn't be in character for our boy Quasi. He's very gentle, but that would have been super satisfying though. Like all these years of him just abusing Quasimodo would have been so nice for him to get his revenge at the end. <laughs> no! Oh. Okay, son boy, thank you. Now I'm glad we saved you earlier. Um, I guess he proved himself worthy to be of my girl. No, oh, look at her including him. Don't cry, Rakia, do not cry. We are not crying, we are not crying. We refuse to cry. All right, I'm gonna go cry. I'm so happy to see him happy. Yes, pop the champagne bottles. Is that it? We're going back into the skies to end off this movie? The end, yes. Pause. Did we start and end in the sky looking down on the city just like how Quasimodo was looking down on the city his whole life? This movie's clever. So yeah, that was Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I totally enjoyed it. I loved it. Everything was amazing. The characters, the story, the music. It's just a beautiful gem. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts and opinions on this movie. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell me all. Once again, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.